girls thank you so much for tuning into my channel if you're new here my name is show love and don't forget to like comment down below and subscribe to my channel also follow me on instagram at show love for more amazing content like this so today we're going to be learning how to create a birthday card in adobe indesign so the first thing you're going to do is go to create new document And then from there, I'm going to print, view all presets, and then I will do letter half. On this side, you want your orientation to be portrait, facing pages to be checked, and then we want four pages, two for the front and two for the back. And then we're gonna start on number two go all the way down to your margins and hit the downward arrow. You want that to be 0 0.375 inches all around. And then select create. From here, I wanna give my front page a color. So I'll go over to the rectangle tool on the left side panel. And then I'll drag and drop a rectangle all the way across both pages. Perfect. So from here, I'm going to work on the color. You can double click right here on this fill square, or you can double click right here on this fill square. The black square is the outline or the stroke of your shape. So once you have your color picked, you'll add CMYK swatch and then select OK. Also, I want to get rid of that black outline. So I will click on the arrow, then select none. Also, a trick for Adobe InDesign, if you want to see your document without the margin lines, just hit the W key and then they disappear. So from here, I want to add a confetti background. If you don't already have one, you can go to Google, type in confetti PNG background. Once you have your confetti background selected, you'll right click, go to save image as, make sure the type is PNG image, click save, and then you'll have it in your files. So from there, you go to File, Place, go to where you have your image, select and open it. And then from here, I'm just going to drag and drop it onto my card. And then I'm just going to copy and paste it all the way through the card. And to do this, I'm just going to select the image, hold down the Alt key, drag and drop. So I will select the image again, hold down the Alt key, drag and drop. And then I'll do that one more time. Perfect. Now to make these lines invisible, you just go up to view, over print preview, and then they disappear unless you're hovering over them. Now from here, I'm going to add my text. So I'll go over to the type tool, open up a text box, and then start typing. The front of my card will say, it's time to celebrate your birthday. The font that I'm using is called Sugar Pie, which you can get on creativemarket.com. I will also leave a link down below as to where I got this. The size will be 72. And then I'll go over here and center my text. 
Also, I want to change the color. So I'll go up to the T, select paper or whatever color you want. And then I'll just line it up to how I want it to look. And that is the front of our card. So we will work on the back of our card. You can either go up here to the pages panel and select your page this way, or you can simply scroll down. From here, I wanna add my candles image. So I will go up to file, place, and then add that. Then I will add my text. You can go over to the type tool, drag out your text box, and start typing. You can also change the font up here and the size of your font right here. So I'm just going to go over here and copy and paste my text. Perfect. So it says, on this special day, we celebrate you. You are such a kind, loving, caring, giving person, and it is such a blessing to know you. I hope that today is all you imagine it to be because you deserve it all. Happy birthday. So feel free to use this in your card if you would like. And here is the inside of our card. So once you have your card all finished, you'll go up to file, go down to export and give your file a name. Make sure you save it as Adobe PDF. And hit save. From here, we will use most of the default settings. So we'll go to pages, make sure it says spreads and all pages, of course. Go down to options. You can deselect optimize for fast web view if it is selected. Then we'll go to marks and bleeds. I like to make sure the bleed marks are checked. Also, I use document bleed settings as well. Then we'll go over to output and you'll select color conversion, convert to destination, include destination profile. And that's it for any customizations. Then you go to export. And here we are, our birthday card made in Adobe InDesign. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Also follow me on Instagram at showlove for more amazing content like this. Bye loves.